glory. Hallelujah. Welcome to Know His Word with Bakarelo Agbenga. Today, I'll be sharing with you the common word we normally have in the body of Christ, the wilderness experience. In most cases, we all go through phases in life, seasons in life, and some of it which will turn to be a phase of wilderness experience. Sometimes we call it desert. Hallelujah. But it's quite good you understand the word desert, the word desert used in the Bible, in the Hebrew word, is the Hebrew word midbar. Midbar. And we also have what we call medibar. Medibar. Midbar means to near you. Medbar, medibar means to speak to you. And in nutshell, the word desert means the place of speaking. The place of God drawing you near. The place of speaking. And it will interest you that the children of Israelites went through 10 series of wilderness. And it is to interest you to also know that every Christian must go through the same thing. You begin to wonder, what am I saying? Are we not in Christ? Why would I say we have to go through the same thing? Yes. How come on see at all? How? Exodus 15, 22. The Bible says, And Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea, and they went out into the wilderness of Shur, and they went there three days in the wilderness and found no water. And when they came to Marah, they could not drink of the water of Marah, for they were bitter. Thereof the name of the cup was called, the name of the place was called Marah. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we do? And he cried unto the Lord. And the Lord showed him a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. And there he made for them a status and an ordinance, and there he proved them. Do you see that? So in the, the word wilderness of shore, they were in a desert, a wilderness, the place of God speaking. So you should have this art posture. That when you are going through a phase of wilderness in life as a believer, it is your place of God speaking. When they got to that place, they got to the wilderness of Shur this time around. The word Shur in the Hebrew word simply means a wall. It means a place of restriction. That the only way forward will either be, or we, sorry, the only way forward will only be by miracle. So you discover that there, is a, there are times God brings you to a phase in life that someone close to you will even have the help. It will have the money you need. It will have the house you need. It will have the venue you need, but it could not do anything. Do you see that? And you be wondering, what a wicked soul. No, he is not wicked. She is not wicked. You are only at the wilderness of Shaw. At the wilderness of Shaw, the only provision, the only way out, for a believer, that face is only by miracle. And when you begin to think, probably your neighbor is wicked because your neighbor has the connection, he can't help you. It is the workings of God. God has brought you into that season. And the provision he made for his children for that season is by miracle. So if you are expecting someone to play or dance to your tune, it will never happen. Hallelujah. And how did God brought the situation? In the same phase, they, they encounter a water called Mara at the place of Mara which means bitterness do you see that but this is the point this is the game changer the Bible says and the Lord showed Moses a tree what is that tree the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 13 14 he said cause a seed that is hung on the tree the definition of what the tree means there simply means Calvary the cross of Calvary Hallelujah. The same cross of Calvary. Jesus had the bitter experience that made us sweet. The same cross of Calvary. The place of bitterness. The place of bitter experience that turned every bitterness of heart. Turned every bitterness of mind, of soul into sweetness today. Hallelujah. So we could see Calvary come into play in verse 25. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm praying for somebody listening to me right now. You have been going through wilderness experience, but you never know it's your place of God speaking. Do you see that? In most cases, we feel wilderness is a place of, you, you know, place of affliction. Yes, but it's a place of God speaking. So when you know this quick, when you know this on time, I tell you, you begin to align. 
Because the word of God for you at Medbar, at Midbar, is that the restrictions is divine. And for it to, to for, for that restriction to be able to enjoy divine supply, it has to be by miracle. Somebody hear me right now. Receive miracle. Receive miracle. Maleko Sufaya Kutiada. I decree miracle into your life right now. In the name of Jesus. I call it done. The Lord bless you. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The Lord bless you. Amen.